This is Gestalt. This is an interface that we've built here at the Media Lab uh, using the G-Speak spatial operating environment from Oblong Industries. And what it allows us to do is navigate through a media space. In this case, we're using videos. To move through the space, it's three-dimensional, and the videos are arranged through it. I can pinch to move around. If I pinch with two hands, I rotate in the transverse plane. We have it constrained to just that plane, although you could open up the other planes as well. Uh, so I can move with both hands. I can walk through the space. If I want to zoom in on an image, I can kind of bring it up front and center or throw the space away. Uh, and it has inertia, so it'll kind of come to a halt on its own. The point is to try and understand uh, video spaces or media spaces in different ways. One of the ways that we, we do this is by allowing you to manipulate the arrangement of the images or video. We have this telekinetic gesture. If I, if I make a plane while touching my head, it makes a plane of images. If I specify three axes with my right hand while touching my head like that, it'll make a cube. And then I can also arrange them in a one-dimensional line in each of the three axes. So once we do that, we can start kind of looking around. And if I see a video that I like, I can mouse over it like this with this uh, pointing gesture. And then if I lower my thumb, I can zoom in on it. With my other hand, I can scrub through the video. I can play the video, stop, play in reverse, etc. And then if I want to release my other hand, I can just lock it, let the video play, continue to you know, manipulate it, uh, and then come back in and unlock it. Um, likewise, without locking, if I just release, it'll go right back to its previous location. So say I want to look at the metadata in these videos. I, can, I have some tags here on the table such as year, title, principal, investigator, authors, project, and duration. And I can structure the space based on this bit of data. So say I grab year, I can add it to my middle finger here. In this sense, this thumb and middle and index fingers are specifying the two-dimensionality of the plane. And the index finger and the, the middle finger are the x-axis. So when I touch the tag on the table to that finger, it adds it to the x-axis. And I can take something else, for instance, principal investigator, and add it to my thumb to add it to the y-axis. But here, just looking at one metric, we can see all the videos are now arranged from left to right. Uh, older videos on the left, newer videos on the right. Then by adding another piece of data, we begin to understand the information space differently. We can see that you know, all the projects on the left were earlier, and we can see their project name as we move down through the space. And if I want to get rid of a tag, I can either touch my finger to release it, or I can make a new form. This is the reset gesture in case you get lost. And this gesture then returns it to a randomized space. And I can also spread it out. Um, if they're a little bit close, I can make them closer. I can make them wider, farther apart, and continue to you know, navigate around here. Uh, then one last thing. If I want to see all the videos playing at the same time, this gesture accomplishes that. And to stop them all, it's like so. So that's the basic gestural interaction and vocabulary for Gestalt.